four years, I have been dreaming of taking you on a trip with me. Travel has changed everything for me. It's taught me how to love myself, broaden my worldviews, and I have made lifelong friends along the way. So I'm really excited to be partnering with Christy Ashby to take you on an adventure meets self-love retreat happening February 2nd through the 6th. We're going to be playing in the Caribbean just off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia. We're going to be kayaking, paddle boarding, snorkeling, picnicking on the beach, having sunset cruises, restorative yoga sessions, live music by the bonfire, massages by the beach, food prepared by a private chef, and so, so much more. So come join me in February. Unfortunately, spots are very limited, so make sure you're heading over to the link in description to snag your spot today. What's up? This is Austin and Monica, and you're listening to the Profitable Nomad Couple Podcast. A show all about breaking free from the conventional and designing a life that's all about freedom, adventure, and fulfillment. We are a digital nomad couple, we're life coaches, and we are full-time adventure seekers. Join us as we jump into a bunch of different topics, including travel and culture, entrepreneurship, mindset, and personal development. Our mission is to help you create a life that's authentically yours. So let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome back. This week, we are going to be talking about big dreams and shooting for, what's the phrase? Shooting for the moon and you'll land among the stars? Yes. We're going to be talking about dreaming bigger and how to dream bigger and why to dream bigger and what that can do for you in your life. Since we were little, we have been categorized into boxes, into these stereotypes. Either we're considered creative or we're good at math or we're athletic or we're um, in the drama club or whatever it is. We're put into these little boxes and we're told we're supposed to fit in those boxes which totally makes sense when you think about how our brain processes information. Our brain loves neat and tidy boxes. It loves the um, black and the white. It loves to know where the boundaries are. And so we put ourselves and other people into these boxes because it makes life so predictable. The problem with this way of thinking and this way of stereotyping ourselves and others is that we start to limit ourselves and our dreams to the examples that we see around us and to the boxes that we've been given to fit in. We want everything in our own lives to fit into this neat and tidy box. So we start to play small instead of really looking at the options and thinking outside the box and thinking about bigger possibilities for ourselves. I don't think we always realize how adaptable we are and the amazing human ability to just to learn new things, like how much plasticity our brains have. Like you said, we're someone in elementary school tells us that we're super creative. And so we label ourselves as creative and we kind of stick with that the rest of our life. Or someone says, oh, you're not a good singer or you're not that good at math. Even if they don't say it like that, that's the message we get. And then we stick with that. And we don't allow ourselves always to believe other things and to go on and have ambitions beyond these limiting stories that we've told ourselves. When Monica and I were talking about this episode and what we wanted to share, an analogy popped into my head. And I thought about learning to play baseball. Or in in my instance, um, when I was younger, I was in Taekwondo. And we learned how to break boards with our hands and our feet. And one of the really important principles of these kinds of sports is you have what's called follow through. Uh, When you're hitting a baseball, you don't want to swing and stop when your bat meets the ball. You want to follow through all the way through your range of motion until your bat's on the other side of your body. When you're trying to break a board with your hand or your foot, you don't stop where your hand makes contact with the board and breaks it. You have to follow through all the way to the other side of the board, all the way to the other side of your range of motion. And that's when you generate the power to hit a home run or to break the board or uh, whatever it is that you're, you're doing, whatever sport you're playing. And I thought that that had a lot of interesting parallels to dreaming bigger, because if we limit ourselves to, to what's just right in front of us, then we're not going to generate the enthusiasm, the momentum that we need in our lives to create our best life and to, to really like achieve the most that we can. And I think when we cut back on those limiting stories that we've been told or have told ourselves and 
and like dream for something that's bigger than what we maybe initially think is possible. That's like following through on those in those sports. It's like shooting for something that maybe at first doesn't seem like you can reach, but you shoot for that big goal. And then before you know it, you're achieving things that you didn't think were possible before. Yeah, I feel like so many times we don't even know what we are capable of until we take that steps. We have that audacious dream and we really start to go for it. And then as we go for it, we can achieve so much more than we ever thought was possible. Just referring back to what Austin said at the very beginning of the episode, it's exactly that. If you shoot for the moon, you will land among the stars. And so you need to be able to set your sights so much further than you currently are. And you need to allow yourself to dream bigger. I, like I've talked about on this podcast a lot, never considered myself um, creative, never thought I would make much of an entrepreneur, never thought much of entrepreneurship. And then when we started growing and um, building our own business, I learned that I was so much more capable of things that I hadn't previously considered myself good at. Um, I learned how to be more creative, how to be more, how to be better with people in conversations and in networking. And I learned about all of these different skills that ended up being essential to our business that I never thought I would be good at. And I never thought I would have those skills or those talents. And to this day, I'm still learning things that before I had considered outside of my wheelhouse or just, you know, not my personality. And I think there's a lot of things like that that have come with entrepreneurship. It doesn't have to be entrepreneurship for you, but I just, I guess the challenge for, from me to you is to stop like setting goals based on what you currently know, but set goals based on what you want. And then you can learn what you need to know to get there. So ask yourself, what if I really could have it all? And then really allow yourself to dream without limits, to imagine what your life could be without limits. If you couldn't fail, what would your life look like? And just let yourself start to daydream or even better, start to write it down and just free write anything that comes to your mind. See what comes up for you and start to allow your brain to consider other possibilities for yourself that you never have considered before. And as you do that and you start making efforts towards those big audacious dreams, I promise you, you're going to land among the stars. You're going to be able to create a life so much bigger and better than you can possibly imagine for yourself right now. Oh, hey, you made it to the end of this episode. Thanks for hanging out with us and listening. We hope you are now feeling inspired to go out and design your own life. We would love to get to know you better. So sign up for a free coffee chat with us so we can hang out, talk about your goals and how we can help you get there. All you need to do is head down to the description section of this episode and click on the coffee chat button. All right. Chat soon.